we're going to be talking about the versatility of the Viper V-Spec. So we have a bunch of bodies laid out here. A lot of these are going to be familiar to everybody. We have a Tyco wide pan. We have a lifelike. We also have a lifelike NASCAR. We have a Auto World um, Extraction. We have a Tomy GTP body, Tomy F1. And then the cars that we have out is a Super G Plus, which we will just use for reference. And then we have our Viper V specs here. So the Viper V spec, as most of you know it, typically has a Lexan body on it, like this one here. We can go ahead and pop this Lexan body off. You can see the body, there's not a lot to it. Super lightweight. They use little pins that slip inside of the body tubes here. And uh, that's pretty traditional for high performance HO slot car stuff. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that this same chassis, by removing the post, you can run any one of these bodies on the car, which is pretty awesome. I mean, if you have old Tycos or Lifelike or Tomy cars and you maybe the chassis broke or, or maybe you just don't want to run them because you're worried that you're not going to be able to get replacement parts for them, any of the above the Viper V-Spec or the V1 platform altogether, the V1 chassis is super universal. When we remove these posts and we just use um, flush cut pliers, we snip the post off, it'll allow access to this rectangle lug on the side of the chassis. You'll see on the Tomy Super G Plus, which is what the V1 is modeled after, it has the same rectangle lug on the side of the chassis. That's where the body clip clips onto. So all of these clips here on the inside, you'll see that they have that rectangle lug, rectangle lug, and then we have our two Tomy clips here, also the rectangular lug. The reason we have two Tomy clips is we have a standard clip, which mounts the body at a standard height. We also have what we call a low rider clip, which lowers the body by half a millimeter, which is pretty big difference when you look at how the cars look with a low rider clip versus the standard clip. And, uh, we'll just go through here and pop each one of these on here. You can see the clip snaps on. You look at it from the bottom. We have the tapers on the sides going forward. This will allow us to install the Tyco body clip. So it's Tyco wide pans. Um, the Tyco narrows won't fit on it. They don't use a body clip. They just go right onto the Tyco chassis. But any Tyco wide pan body will fit on this. You can see we now have a Viper V-Spec with a Tyco 911 body, which is pretty cool. Comes back off. We can pop the clip back off. Now we'll move on to the lifelike. It's going to be the same thing here. So you could use the same car with different clips for all of these bodies here if you didn't want to buy different cars and whatnot. Um, this is pretty cool here because you know there's there's quite a bit of limits to the Tycos and the lifelikes as far as uh, speed and and just different variations of um, car combinations you can do. The V1 has lots of variance in how fast you wanna go or how slow you wanna go. And we can talk about that a little bit later, but you'll see how nice that looks on the, the lifelike there. That's a pretty, pretty nice and low. Wheel wells are filled out nicely. You'll see the how high it is off of the, the rail looks really good. So that's a real good looking setup. We'll move on to a lifelike uh, stock car body. This guy just pops in here. Oops, missed the lugs. So we have the lifelike stock car body on there now. 
We actually offer these on the site. We have uh, the main colors, red, white, blue, and yellow. You can sticker them up um, or even repaint them however you like. So that's another cool option. We have some truck bodies, rally cars, a couple of American sports cars. We'll move on to the Auto World extraction body here. So we'll go ahead and get our Tomy clip. We're going to use the standard clip on this one first. Just pops in there. Wheelbase is correct. Looks pretty good. It's kind of a cool way to, if you like these bodies that Auto World puts out, but you don't want to run them on the the extraction car. Um, you can upgrade them, run them on this. You can you can also use all of these clips on your Tomy Super G Plus cars as well. So the clip will work on the Tomy car as well as on the Viper car. We'll leave that on there. We'll put the uh, GTP body on here now. See that? Looks good. Now notice the wheel well gap here. So on our low rider clip, which we'll pop on here next, this will lower that body by half a millimeter, which doesn't sound like much, but for HO scale, it's quite a bit. And it really makes a huge difference on how well it handles. So if you have one of these old bodies and you're worried about breaking it, definitely go with the low rider clip. Fills out the wheel wells, gives it a real racy look. Super low, sleek. It doesn't work on all AFX bodies. There's some bodies that are already mounted low and you'll if you try to use the low rider clip on them, um, you're gonna to be too low. So make sure that you check for adequate clearance before you go ahead and run the car. Here's the Tomy F1 body, which are pretty collectible now. So I don't know how many guys are running them. Uh, we actually started offering a resin printed version of this. So guys that do like these, there's still options. They'll clip right on. You'll see it looks factory. This is in short wheelbase. The car also has multiple wheelbases. So if you wanted to run it in long wheelbase with the formula body to make it look a little bit better, you certainly could. And that shows the versatility of the Viper V1 platform. Now, if you wanted to take this car back to putting Lexan body mounts on it, we do have threaded um, Lexan uh, body mount tubes that you can thread back in here. But typically most guys, once they run this with a clip, they kind of keep this car set up to run any of these clips. And if they want to go Lexan racing, it's much more durable to keep the Lexan post molded into the chassis. But that's about it. Thanks for watching.